I'd like to ask you a little bit about some of your non-traditional foundation plantings. Uh, I know a lot of times you try to avoid things like your traditional boxwoods and kind of get a little bit more interesting with some of those foundational plantings. Can you mm-hmm. speak on that some? Sure. I do sometimes use boxwoods, but usually I'll clip them into balls and intersperse them with uh, stone spheres and have them rolling down a hill or something like that. I don't line them up. I think that um, life is too short for being bored, and I think a lot of landscape design is really boring, and I think a lot of it is just people don't know what else to do. So a lot of times I will use ornamental grasses as foundation plantings, which is really strange until you look out the window and you're looking through them and it has this awesome scrim effect. It's like a lace curtain. I use Japanese maples sometimes as foundation plantings, a lot of conifers. I think there's a big overlap between the people who love conifers and the people who love Japanese maples. And it's all about the form and the texture. So if you're into uh, to form and texture, maples, conifers, grasses are all great things to use.